Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Red Ranger Abari Red. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Um, Yeah, I actually watch the series now, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm quite fresh on it, but I finally watched the American series, and I honestly liked it. I thought it was really good. Like, yeah, it was good. Like, I sat down and I told myself, you know what, I'm going to sit down and, and learn more of the American version of the Sentai counterparts, and I can honestly say... I thought Dino Thunder was done really well. Um, I bought mine from CMD store. I actually saw it on their eBay. It was 25 bucks. So it made like $32 shipped. And I didn't mind that. So I picked them up because I actually, I really like the Bari Killer. So I was like, sure, why not pick up a Bari Red? So here we are with Connor McKnight, the Dino Thunder Red Ranger. So enough of me talking about that nonsense. Let's get into the actual toy. You already know what you're getting with the Lightning Collection stuff. But I figured it'd be cool to kind of just gloss over the stuff that we get. One thing I will say, while a Bari Killer was missing his uh, visor paint, my visor paint is here. I got a little bit of a smidget of some red paint in there right at the top. But it's not honestly like that noticeable. So it, it doesn't make or break it for me, unlike with uh, a Bari Killer. But yeah, otherwise, I think what we're getting with Lightning Collection is actually pretty solid. Uh, like I said, these are figures that are 20 bucks. And for what they're including, I am okay with. I know some people are not. Um, but there is some, like, other applications I would like more of. You know? I would. I would like the heads to sit a little higher. Um, but if you can't sit them higher, my suggestion that I've been having as of late is, instead of not sitting them higher, you hollow out a point where they can actually move a little bit better. But I'm guessing you want the aesthetic of when they take the helmets off, you can actually see, like, a good helmet. Because hollowing it out wouldn't help if you wanted to look like a helmet. But otherwise, the neck peg is all here. It's in the proper spots. It just, this would be sitting too high, obviously. Pushing it down, that's a little too low. But if you pull it up just a little bit, I mean, like, literally just a little bit, you just get a little bit of a better range. I think this can also use a little bit of a black wash to bring out the paint details. Otherwise, it's really good, though. <laughs> uh, but yeah, our articulation is pretty much the same. We can look up. We can look down. We can look left and right. We can even tilt just a little bit by lifting the head up just a little bit off the peg a little. You can tilt. We have articulation in the arm that goes up. You can make your T-pose. You have bicep swivel. You have an actual arm swivel that allows you to rotate all the way around, which mine is getting stuck. There we go. Right. And then you have your butterfly joint, which is pretty standard for all the lightning collection stuff. We have our double joint which allows us to get really cool poses with that bicep swivel. On the hands, we actually have a horizontal pivot and not a vertical one. So you'll be able to go left and right, but not up and down. So yeah, I don't I don't mind that. I mean, a ball joint that allows it to rotate all the way around would be great, but I see what they are going for. You have your sidearm and your holster. Your belt is unpainted. Um, I think those could be painted, but again, I don't know the budget of the overall wave styles. But having it unpainted is not terrible. Unless it's like a morpher that def like defines it. Because this being painted in all red, it is a little bit of a bummer because I don't know how to paint. But at the same time, it does make it a little easier on them. As far as our waist articulation is, you can tilt forward. Mine is actually pretty tight in there. There we go. As you can see, you can actually tilt pretty far forward. The same for going backwards. You can actually tilt side to side as well too. I would like a little bit more range on the side to side. That would be dope. That would allow me to get uh, more crazy poses. But that's me being selfish. So don't don't judge me for that, y'all. <laughs> we can hold our leg forward. We can go double joint it. We have our thigh swivel. And we have a boot swivel as well. Then you have your super generous ankle pivot, which mine's is super duper tight right now. So I don't want to break anything. But you can see you can rotate all the way through and around. Oh Yeah, that's super duper tight. And that about covers all the articulation and look. Like I said, I, I don't mind this. I like this a lot. Um, after watching Dino Thunder, I can honestly say I'm a, I'm a fan of the American stuff. Uh, I believe this was what? The the Disney era, I believe? Was it Disney era? But I thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, Accessory-wise, let's jump into that and talk about that. Accessories, let's go with... What should we start with? You know what? Let's start with the blaster. So we have our blaster. And this is painted pretty decently. I mean, obviously, you don't have all the the cool, like, black wash and design in it. 
but i think they covered for the most part some cool designs you have the yellow in the front you have the basic blue you have what's supposed to be silver but it ended up being that moldy silver and the black handle so this is pretty dope this is cool this will change into your thunder max saber i believe or yeah this changes into the thunder max saber so it folds out becomes a thunder max saber and the thunder max saber actually has a nice red effect part flaming sword effect part that lets you go <laughs> all that other jazz if you want you know yell out your super you know your super move and that way you slash your enemies into pieces but i will say this i do like this effect it's soft and malleable you don't have to worry about breaking it or dropping it and honestly i've been liking the a lot of the lightning collection effects because they've just been fun to add on to other stuff so yip yip hooray <laughs> then we have the dun the max staff if this on the max staff i, I might have got this one wrong but this one is not painted very well but they do include the staff which is a bonus for me because technically you get two weapons but you get three one of them transforms into another but getting two weapons is like a bonus like i didn't think they would include this so hopefully they continue to do more signature weapons for stuff i'm a fan i'm a fan of this i hope they get more of this I'm trying to figure out what effect i'm going to use for that then we get two alternate hands we have a hand that is similar to a bar killers that we have right here, in case you can't see, which is red. And they actually painted the white on the back of it, which is a plus because I was hoping they would. <laughs> and then you get an open claw hand. This hand can technically also hold the, the staff as well, too. But I call it the open claw hand because it'll allow you to look cool in poses or slash at enemies if you want. And that pretty much covers everything, with the exception of our Connor McKnight head, which uh, he looks a little grumpy here. I think they captured, for the most part, the element of him, which is pretty good. But uh, he looks a little bit older here. But hairstyle is captured, forehead is captured. I think the eyes are captured pretty well. I just think the cheekbone area suffers a little bit. But they, I think they definitely aimed for what they were going for. So that's pretty cool. Now, next up, we're going to jump into those size comparisons and talk about him along with other lines that look well with him. So let's get to that. All right, guys. Now we're going to talk about the size comparisons, as I stated before. First thing I want to do is compare him up to a Bari Killer. So we have a Bari Killer here looking pretty cool. Let's get him up in a size comparison. And if I just put their legs together, seems like they're going to be about the same height, if not close enough to the same height with each other. Right? Then we're going to compare it to a woman's body on the Power Rangers. This one's Power Rangers in space, since we don't have a different character. So there we are. We see the size difference, the body difference. It actually looks pretty good. I like where this is going with them. I like the size discrepancy. Not just between a male and female, but even though these guys are about the same height, they don't look exactly the same height. But I guess that's just the way I have them posed. That could also be it. They are pretty close. Next, we're going to compare a couple of the Hasbro stuff. So let's do Storm Shadow. Let's actually get you to face this way. Then we'll do a movie Deadpool. Because I really want to review this guy and I keep putting it off. So I got to stop doing that. So you can see with the other Hasbro stuff, it looks pretty decent. Looks pretty well. Looks like they all fit in one universe with each other. Even though technically they don't. Unless Hasbro invents the Hasbro verse. And then... I guess we're all in trouble. <laughs> Next up, we have an articulated icons ninja. So here we are, ninja. Then we're going to do an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. Because why the hell not? Good boy. There we go. As you can see, the SHF stuff is probably going to be the smallest stuff. But it can work out because everybody's kind of different sizes. And the builds on these guys all look pretty similar. They don't look out of proportion with each other. So these work as well, too. Next up, we'll do a 1000 Toys Synthetic Human. Or in this case, a Synthetic Carb. And then we'll do a Mythic Legions. This is a 1.0 body, so these are probably gonna be one of the bigger bodies who are not an ogre style. And 1000 Toy fits in pretty well. And then if you wanna do like Mythic Legions as like bad guy of the week stuff, or like using ogre or stuff like that, those can work as well too, but as you can see, there will be a size discrepancy. Last, we'll do, do I have any Mezco bodies? Yeah, I do, I have a Mezco body here. So, we're going to do a Mezco Ninja. I actually have a custom head on from Plastic Goodies here. 
So you get to see that too. Then we'll do a Storm Collectibles, Kazuya. This one happens to be the final battle one. That I'm working on the photos for these right now, in case you ask. So you probably get them. And as you can see, Storm Collectibles is completely out of scale. Mezco might work size-wise, at least with ninjas. So you can have your idea for that. In the meantime, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. And uh, yeah, do all that stuff where you like, subscribe, and show it to other people if it helps them. So do that stuff. Thank you guys for always watching. I appreciate you. Uh, be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.